We are live. Welcome to another episode of Peanut the Podcast. What's up? What's up? Welcome to hey Peanut the Family. Oh shit! Yo, let me. Uh, <laughs> I don't fuck the whole shit up. The streets ain't. Hey guys, me. you got to wave when you do that. You know that's the only one. <laughs> hey guys. Well, Ray's over there doing something. His mic ain't even on his face. I know. Happened. Unprofessional. He can't even talk. Like usual, he's fucking up. Man. Back in the day, I thought we got being got away from being the here. unprofessional podcast, but looks like we're still on that t- on that uh trajectory. This nigga here so. just throwing everybody under the bus. Yeah, mm. I'll throw, yeah, throw you under the bus, pay the four hundred to toll and everything. That's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a high toll. Asshole. You are an asshole, buddy. Well, today being an asshole, we're gonna talk about man. uh <laughs> How stress can affect the relationship and um, things that can also lead to stress in a relationship. Uh. So we're gonna do we're gonna be breaking down multiple you know things today, man. So you know the big one off the top is a big for both that leads to stress and how stress can affect. It's called communication, man, and um, a breakdown of communication and misunderstanding in a relationship can lead to stress in a relationship. Some things can get. <coughs> Put out there or heard a certain way, a text message you didn't, you know, they, it's read the wrong way and uh, it put a little stress on your head or you ask somebody, this, you know, for something to be done in a relationship and maybe your tone was a little bit off and they took it the wrong way. They took it to heart. Now they're looking at you with the side. I like, I can't believe you said that shit to me. So, you know, <coughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sick. So. Yeah. We coughing a lot, so um, yeah, but these are things. Yeah, this is ill worthy, but still, <laughs> these are things that can lead relationship. Like you know, my girl always says to me all the time. We get I say something to her, and she like, "Why are you talking to me like that?" I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like that?" It's because you don't know how to talk to people. Kevin. No, I I don't. But I, I do. <clears throat> I mean, that's I just agree. that's just that's just thirty years of a, of a, of observing your life. You do not know how to talk to people. And then and then <laughs> and then you'll hit them with the no, nah, I'm just saying. No, I'm just <laughs> I, I'm That's not just right, saying. verbatim. <laughs> I'm just I'm more direct. I don't got time to be around a fucking bush. I ain't got time to do all this. Oh, let's be gentle with the shit. It's I feel like, as though there's a way to be direct and yeah. not be a dick. You know who says that a lot? <sighs> and you're not one of these people. I'm, I'm, I'm let me be very clear. Assholes say that. Oh man, Jesus, I'm an asshole. I, I mean, Kev is I just a version, you, a variant of an asshole. I just told you. I'm gonna tell you that you've never been an asshole to me, ever, 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 ever. ever. Not to I'm us. Probably, There's a difference. You don't have to be an asshole to a person to be an asshole in general. I don't think, but no, I don't think he's an asshole per se. The person I'm thinking of, people might know. People might know them to be an asshole, but I don't really think of them as an asshole. But they, they, they say like, oh, I'm just, I'm just blunt. And it's like, nah, nah, you're an asshole. Like, like there's, a, there's a difference there. You're just an asshole. <laughs> you point out shit that doesn't. I would say that you. Out. You would say. I, th- I think you just say shit as it comes to your mind. I, I, the I, way it comes, and it just, it's here. Let me get it out. I say shit like that so I can go. To, I can sleep at night. Something's bothering me. But I think you. <laughs> Yeah. If I think you nah, listen, if I like say yeah, I'll, just, I'll take a nighttime robotussin, just just tell people shit that they go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, say, like, like, say if I might think like I got an inclination of my I feel as though my girl's cheating on me. I'm not gonna mm. be like, you know, stuff's been going weird lately, I'm trying to figure out what's going on and all this stuff. Nah, are you cheating? Like, cause shit's fucked up around here. I've been noticing it. it to me, it feels like you're cheating. Like, I, I see all these signs, and I'm not gonna, you know, we're that's gonna the, talk this out. You're gonna explain this shit to me right now. That's the, and explain yeah. to me why you not. You know, what I mean, why? Why am I feeling this way? We're not <laughs> gonna. I'm not going to sleep this on my brain. I want to have a good dream tonight. I don't want to be having that dream that your girl's cheating on you because you, whatever you take, whatever you hold in your mind. It will pop up in your dream, and it'll fuck your whole day up the next day. Trust me. Yo, I had a dream the other night that my girl, my wife was cheating on me. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't take it as nothing though. It was just um, I told her about it too. It it seemed like it was in an alternate universe though. It was like the weirdest thing. It wasn't here and it wasn't now. It was like 
and, and the person that she was, it was another person's face and it turned into her. It was the weirdest shit ever. Um, Kevin was there. Uh-huh. What in this dream was she? Do you know that she was cheating on you or were you just there and she happened to be with someone else? No, she was cheating on me. She was cheating on me. And um, you felt the emotions. I felt the emotions. I did. And then when I woke up, I was like, that's weird. It, w- it was completely in a different universe. Like I lived in Philly. Like it was weird. And we stayed in like a school. <laughs> like we lived in a school. It was weird, bro. Very weird. Very James, weird. Like, Kev, you was there. How we familiar, was at the movies. How, oh. how, how, which one? Me or him? You. We was at how, the movies. how familiar did you feel with everything as your dream was going along? Uh, not not at all like so i felt the emotions but like everything around it felt foreign you you get what i'm Mm. saying like like in my dream i knew it wasn't my life is the weirdest thing i knew it wasn't my life yeah because i mean not to get off topic but sometimes when i have dreams i feel like i'm looking at something from somebody else's eyes or perspective yeah or i can see myself in the dream it lets me know oh shit you're lucid dreaming. Well, the thing about the thing about this Who dream, knows? man. Think about this, and we talk Truman about dream. we're gonna bring it back towards communication. Right. But think about this dream. Dreams like that, right there. When you have dreams, it's something in your subconscious <laughs> that you don't normally think about that's just laying dormant that appears to you in a dream. I don't think that's the case. I think our dreams are connected to something in a different form of reality. Uh, like you said, maybe like there's a sort of multiverse and we're able to tap in some way, somehow, because there's a lot of times that I have the same dream, but a different outcome. You know what I mean? Sometimes, and and I can't tell if it's me or someone else, like this one particular dream is I always, we always fall off a bridge. Whoever I'm with, we fall off this one bridge. It's, per, it's a particular bridge you're trying to get before. across. And this shit is big. You said, I said it, right? Yeah. I, and, it, and whenever I have this dream, we always end up in the water. We never die, but we end up looking up at the bridge like, what the fuck? And we got to figure out how to get across the water now because we fell off the bridge. Nah, bro. Shit's nuts. Nah, bro. That's, you know what that, I mean? Oh, that, that means something. Yeah. yeah that's that's some normally, I would say they don't. Normally, I, I would have, say they don't. I've had that same dream for years. I mean, for years. That, maybe maybe the dream means maybe the other side maybe of the bridge is just Maybe it gold. means that some of us have to actually <laughs> jump off that bridge, Dre. You know what I'm saying? It's Maybe it's telling me that I gotta jump off this bridge. There's no, no other way. I can't just cross it. But but I feel like it it, it really touches it really touches something with me, and then and then it affects me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Physically, like in the in this world, like why do I have that? Yes. It's crazy. Well, <clears throat> I never really put that together with what we talk about off off yeah. you know show, show off air, whatever we want to call it. But you know what? Maybe that is. Yeah, you know I mean, well, I, I wholeheartedly believe so, sir. I know. So, so like, communication. So, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to communication. <clears throat> Can I share? Yeah, we're gonna figure out how to communicate with you go ahead. today. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go in ahead. that in that communi- in that communication realm. Go so ahead. at um at at some point, and I've said this. I told I told my wife um when when you know shit was real real like you know I said yo, and I was serious. I said yo, man. If you want an out, I'm giving you permission to take that out. Mm. Of I your said, marriage? Yeah. At one point, I said, because it's going to take me a while to get, you know, whatever I need to get. Go- like, like we had a fucked up point right now. So I understand if, she- and this is just me in my own head. It wasn't like she gave me any, any like, that or anything she- like yeah. That. yeah, this was just me like, listen. I know where I'm at right now, and I know that I don't want you to be in that position. So if you wanted to, obviously, she, obviously she won't take it. She look at me like, man, shut the fuck up and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. But I told her, I said, yo, if you want an out, you can take you can take that out if you wanted to. Like you can actually, we can cut it, and you can go on. You can have a baby with somebody. You can do all the things that right now I'm not able to provide for you and you know it, it, it if you if you're not happy or, or whatever like that obviously she didn't take it but um i thought that was an interesting thing to bring up in this in this time yo let me ask you a question when you were asking that question 
Were you at your low? Yeah. <clears throat> and and obviously you have a strong black woman. We all know E, you know, what I mean, she's one of the family to us to to actually open yourself up like that and 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 be vulnerable to just know, hey, I might have to accept doing this on my own. And I don't want you to be the person that feels like you can't depend on me and I don't want to bring you down to where I'm going and having that open conversation is very, very difficult. Yeah. It's, and it also breaks you down in another level because just because you thought about it, you can think about stuff to yourself and come to an understanding, but actually having that conversation brings a different emotion out of you and to have that conversation and to be prepared for the answer that may come is a difficult task. You know what I mean? And yeah. then if and, and imagine if she had said, you know what, maybe you're right. And I do need to think about my options on what I want to do, because this isn't what I expected. You don't actually know what happens to you afterwards. You know, what I mean, that's a step in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Your life is immediately changing right then and there. Yeah. You know, what I mean, so it takes a strong man to actually do that. That's a different type of communication. That's a different type of vulnerability that you're showing. You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna say something different as your homie, cause this is like real shit, man. Like, did you <sighs> you my man? And I said some shit like that back in the past, but and I had to look at it when I got on top. I'm like, yo, it's gonna sound fucked up when I say, it, but it was like that was a I think that was a weak way out for me. You know what I'm saying? For me personally, cause I should have looked at what I should have fucking took a very like just a step back. Maybe took a few days myself, took a step back, assess every fucking thing that's going on wrong in my relationship. That even led me to the point of even thinking about this, or even giving this person I love with all my heart this option to fucking do that shit. Because it, it would have seemed, it would have, like he said, if she would have said the opposite and left. Yeah, it would have devastated you. And then you would have then years later you would have been sitting there processing, like, man, you know what? If I would have did this, I would have did that. Maybe we had a little bit more in-depth conversation. Maybe I wouldn't even got to that point where I even had to give her that option. And I and I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to shit on you. Okay, but, speak. But take it sometimes it's good, man, to just take a step back, reflect on a lot of things. You know, find your flaws, man. It's okay. Like, we all got weaknesses and shit like that. There ain't nobody built 100% bulletproof. We all got our weaknesses. And there's ways to strengthen our weaknesses. Maybe we not, you, you can't overcome all your weaknesses, but there's ways to at least strengthen them a little bit. To, you know, give this a little bit more attention here, that a little bit more attention here. So, so I wouldn't even have because I don't think you really wanted that to happen. I I think you thought about her more than you thought about yourself. Yeah, it was showing and, selflessness. Yeah, that selflessness. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? I think if you, I think she can't exist without you as much as you can't exist without her. Well, that's 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 absolutely true. So when it when it comes to me doing that, it wasn't me saying all right, and then I ain't got to worry about the stress of trying to make her happy. It's two things. Um. It's, it's two things for me, or it was two things for me. It was, yo, I know that the climb out of where I'm at now. So when I say low, I don't necessarily mean like I was like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. It was like, yo, I know I'm looking up from where I got to go. And I know where I got to go. And I know it's going to take some time. And I know it's going to take some fucking some doing. And it's going to take some change on my part. So what it really is even though you don't mean it to be, you really mean it. It's almost a test too, because, Hey, I know I'm going to do this. You might not have signed up for that though. That that's, that was my thinking. Like, I know I'm going to do this, but you might not have signed up for that. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the kids thing. That's, that's another thing that really, you know, was really contributed to that. It was like, at this point, I'm, I wasn't able to, to do that. So it's like, if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Then that's the way to go. So it also means that this, on my way to where I'm going, her not taking that out, we can go together. And when we go together, 
She can get anything she wants from me as, 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 as she was supposed to be anyway. But I'm just saying like, it strengthens you, honestly, it strengthens your relationship. Um, because when it's good, it'll be great. You know what I'm saying? It's never perfect, but when it's good, it'll be great because you know, like, yo, you had an out. I gave you an out and you didn't take it. So now let's go to the, let's, 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 let's make this shit start happening. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So that's, that's how I see it. So it was, it wasn't me, you know, wanting to absolve myself of any, um, of any responsibility. It was truly just like, yo, I was thinking I'm in my own head. And I'm like, what if she ain't signed up for this shit? Because it's it's motherfuckers that that they get into something with somebody and they haven't signed up for it, and this shit gets too rough. I'd rather you tell me. I'd rather us have a conversation about it rather than you just be like, Yo, I can't do this. So so let me ask you this I'm question. Say, how how <clears throat> how serious did you take your marriage vows? Like, and I'm, it's a two part question. How serious did you take your marriage? Very marriage serious. Vows? So why would you think your wife would even take it even less serious than you? Um, it's not necessarily that. So no, nah, but think but think about it, Dre. Uh for the vows is for richer for, for poorer sickness and through health. Yeah. Even if you're not, and I know this is a subject you don't like getting on about the kids situation, that is considered almost in the category as the sickness, dude. Yeah, it's all all of that is relative. You get what I'm saying? So, but I understand yeah. where Dre's coming from because, regardless of what, regardless of how you felt when you were getting married and then vows, when you're progressing through this marriage, you kind of understand what's going on, and and you might feel like you're not playing the part that you're supposed to be playing, and regardless of better or for worse, sicker or for poor. You don't want to be the reason that you're for poor or for worse. You know what I mean? Especially if you're doing something because your heart is into it. And this is something that you want for yourself, even though it may benefit everyone in the circle. This is something that you want for you. This is something that you can attain and be like, yo, this is mine. And I'm, I, might, I, might, I might be doing this for us. The end goal is for us to be happy and wealthy and not have to worry about the shit that we always worried about but i'm gonna put myself through a gauntlet and this wasn't something that we talked about before we got married mm -hmm. this is after yeah this is something that came out of nowhere and i've already started this you've already agreed we've been i've been going through this this i'm i'm taking chances this isn't something that you expected to happen then me taking chances and being ready to jump out of the window, jump off a cliff to see where I land. Correct. You may not necessarily want that person to be the person to have to catch you every time you fuck up. So when you're at your low, it's like, yo, I can't keep doing this to this person that I love. I want you to be happy, even if I'm not the reason that you're happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not saying that Dre loves her any less or that he doesn't want his marriage to prosper and that he's given up. I see it as, look, I'm not giving up on us, but what I will let you know is if you're happy at, if you're unhappy at any point and I am the cause, I understand. And if you decide that this isn't for you because of the situations that I brought to the table now, I understand that as well. I don't want you to be, I don't want to be the cause of the regret of, of, you know, you looking at me, and being upset with me consistently. And yep. then everything turns to shit before it turns to anything else. Well, yep. <laughs> well I'm going to say this right here, man. You look you at gotta, me. If you, I am, if you got a true <sighs> rider, true, you got married, you got a true ride or die. Let me just say, I'm going to put it to like this. Yeah, it's some things you, you may start off the marriage and you might be working. Working and you and you might say to your wife, you know what, this ain't for me. I don't like where I'm at in my career. I want to do something different. And she says, to "You go ahead, babe. I got you." Once she hits you, that okay, I got you. If you was a bum that just, you know, she's giving you, telling you, you know, you telling you want to do this, and you just fucking every time you go out for her to do it, and you're only giving it forty percent and fifty percent and thirty percent. If you and you're not going a whole, you know, you're not giving it everything you got. 
you know what? You act, you give her that out. I'm pretty sure she will fucking take that out in a heartbeat because she'll look at you as a bum and you're not really doing what you say you do. She, in her eyes, she see you're not really giving it your all. And you know you're not giving it your all. The reason I think your wife didn't take that out on you was because she's like, you know what? I know Dre. I know his determination. I know everything he goes into, he's going to put 110%. I know he's going to succeed, and I have the most, most utmost trust and faith in him. I'm going to do everything my vows said for me to do. While he's going out trying to fight these wars and getting these arrows slung at him of rejection and, and, and in doubt and fear and these arrows is hitting him and striking him down and he's trying to stay up. I'm going to be the one that heals him up. I'm going to be the one to patch him back up and I'm going to get him ready to go back to war again. I'm going to patch his shield up. I'm going to sharpen his sword. I'm going to fucking heal his wounds and I'm going to get him ready to go back to war day in and day out. And eventually when, we, when he wins the war, the person that will benefit where form it the most would be him and me equally because we both were in it together while he was doing all this shit fighting this shit i was right behind there taking care of him making sure he was good because nothing be nothing will be worse man <coughs> for you to say you know what i'm gonna not even say say i'm gonna leave her because i think she could do better by herself than with me and then you you keep fighting this war and you left her which you wouldn't do and you keep fighting this war, and then eventually you're going to fall in love with somebody else, and this other person who wasn't with you in the trenches is benefiting off of somebody who, who was willing to stick it out with you that you really didn't give a chance to stick it out with you. You know what I'm saying? Now this other person is eating off the benefits of you, you know, starting this war and you kicking them to, and you castrating, you, you, you know, your, your person to the side and you're doing it by yourself. Now you look like, yeah, I did this, I did this, I did that. Now I'm in love. I'm going to be with this person and this new girl. She gets to eat off of everything where maybe he was the person that was like, yo, I was willing to fight this war with you. Like, you really didn't give me a chance to. So that that's how I look at this shit, man. Yeah. If if I would leave her, it's, 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 a, it's a way to, to go about that. The good thing is she she obviously said said no, and it's not an open invitation. It was like, hey, right now, one time only, you you know what I mean? After this, is like you kind of get what you're asking for um, because that's it's going to be hard. And I've been reminding her for at least the past couple months, like, yo, it's going to be hard. Number one, faith in God is 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 has to be number one for from now on because that was something that I feel like it wasn't absent, but it was it wasn't at the forefront. You know, you think it's just you doing things when it's it's God. So it's like that you have to trust in God. Um, and also it, it's going to be hard. It's like going to the gym. If you, if you could get the way you want it to look by just going in there and fucking lifting a weight one time, life will be great, but it's not like that. You have to go there every fucking day. You have to go there when you're tired, you have to heal up. The shit is going to be hard before it gets good. The fun isn't the, not the fun, but the, the story is in the journey. That you take and the journey ain't gonna always be easy. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what we have I have to remind her of all the time because Erica will put her head down and work, 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 work. And uh that that takes a toll on a person. It takes a toll after a while, especially if it's seeming like you're not moving forward like like the way you would want to. Um, but that's where faith in God comes in on my on my side, where I'm like, nah, it's coming. Uh, listen, man. Me and my it's, wife. Not, it's, not, it's not a pep talk. No, nah, nah, it's not a pep talk. All right, me and let's my, me, right. No, no. Me and my girls in this in a similar situation. Like, dude, like I've been fucking busting my ass and working and grinding, get her what she wants to do, and she's wanting to be a teacher. Like, I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna let you do this shit. But I'm gonna make it very clear to you. If I see you slip or you fall or you start bullshitting, I'm gonna call you on your bullshit and you want to get right. You're not quitting. You're not backing out. I don't give a fuck how hard it is. I'll be there to talk you through it to keep going. But the, the moment you fucking quit, the moment you quit while I'm giving my all to support your fucking dream, I'm out. I'm done with you. I, because I gave you... I'm being real. It sounds fucked up how I'm saying that shit, because. but it's like, yo, <laughs> it's not fucked up, but listen to what I'm trying to... Listen to what... Hear what I'm trying I'm to listening. say. I'm listening, Please, but. please listen. <laughs> listen. Listen carefully. 
I will be, I will give you all the fucking tools you need necessary. I will do everything. I'll fucking kill myself at work for hours to support us. All I need you to do is keep trying at your dream. Don't slack on it. Don't bullshit on it. Don't worry about me. I'll figure it out every time you keep going forward with your dreams. That means I fully believe in your dream just as much as you do. But the moment you quit and you don't let me know you quit or and I'm pushing you and I'm helping you quit just because you said I'm out because it's like you're going to always do this. You gonna have a dream another time that you want to do something and you're not going to stick to it. And you're not going to follow through with it. It's, it's going to come to a part where it's going to get too hard for you and you're going to quit. And I'm here. I am the whole time in full support of your dream. Ain't my dream is your dream. I'm in full support of your dream to help you. And you're backing out of it, man. I can go follow my own fucking dreams or let you go do your own goddamn thing. I don't. You get what I'm saying? But the only thing, the only thing that made me smile was okay. So I just need clarification. Are you saying that because she's switching careers? No, I was she, because she, because the way you worded it was crazy. You said, nah, she I'm always, doing all that I can. I'm busting my ass. I'm working all this time, and then she tells me she wants to be a teacher. No, she always <laughs> like, listen. Wait, she what? always wanted. She always wanted to become a teacher. Yeah. In the past, she had the same dream, and I followed her hundred percent with the shit, and it led to breakdowns in our relationship because it's like, yo. So this isn't the first attempt. This ain't the teacher. first attempt. Okay, no, this I'm just is like this, this is all. like the second. It's like the third attempt. Okay. So, you know, three strikes you out. The first two times is like, man, I, I got tired of the shit. I'm like, this motherfucker, she quitting. Like, what the? F I'm, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. This shit ain't. When you say you out, what do you mean? I'm out. Like, I checked out the relationship. I checked out. I did whatever I wanted to fucking do. Like, this shit was like, it was a fucking headache. It was like, it was like, yo, follow, like, yeah, shit is fucked up, but just follow what you gotta, go do what you gotta fucking do. Don't, don't do something else. Don't deviate from the shit. Just for, go for, con the for conversation's sake, and I'm, I'm gonna interrupt you right there because I want, I want to ask you a question. For conversation's sake, <clears throat> when, when she, chooses to do something else or if she chooses to do something else after you get married um and we talked about bowels earlier what does that mean to you do you do you check out still if she, if she had like right now she got if she became a teacher and she right like she's in college right now she, and you get everything and you say to yourself you know i can go back to make more money to get a different degree in something else and it'll be more beneficial to us. And I'm like, how long? And she, I say, how long is it going to take? I will ask her, how long you think it's going to take? And she said, if I give it my all, boom, boom, maybe two years. All right. I'll give you, I'll give you two years of my time. I'll give you two years of my time. But you said you got to go all out and you got to do that. You sure you'll need an extra year to maybe, you know, so you're not killing yourself. She'd be like, no, I need two years. I'm going to go all out and I'm going to get it done. Cool. I'll give you the two years. I give you the two years to do it. What do you but mean? The, is what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? You give her two years if she takes. What happens? Give to give to means to, the, no. to, to give to, to give. That means basically holding her accountable. Holding her accountable for a shit like hey, got, got you. Don't worry. Don't worry about nothing. Got else you. But focusing on your dreams for two years, I got you for you to focus on your dream. Anything comes up that can hinder you from achieving your dream. <sighs> I will be there to back you 100%. Maybe you, maybe like say, hey, I can't afford this book right now, but I need this to get this done. I'll get the money for it. Go get it. Don't worry about that shit. Keep doing what you're doing in your classroom. You'll have this book by the end of the week. You know, you get I, what I'm saying? We're leaving. That's why I was having trouble no. with understanding. No, so. no, 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 no. It's basically saying that, yo, I will be here whether it's financially, emotionally, whatever, that you need to get you across that finish line. I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for you. We're going to we're gonna do this. We're going to get you, achieve yeah. your dream together. And once you get your dream, you realize it. we'll both eat and benefit off this shit. I can respect that. I give her, I would, I would always give a little extra. If they, if she says she needs two, I'm going to give her three just because I know shit happens and I want to be there for the motivation. I want to make sure that when you're at your low, I'm here to let you know that shit's not over. You, now you finishing this. Don't worry. What you need help with? How mm -hmm. how can I appease you? How can I lighten the load? What what is it that I can do? You know what I mean? And I'll give that little extra time because I just know in my life, 
just getting places on time. Y'all niggas know. Y'all be there at two. I'm there at two thirty because something happens. It's some along the way. Somebody needs something for me to do, or the kids, or my wife, or you know, what I mean, granted, something pops up that I don't expect. So I give a little extra time for everybody because I just know how life is. You know what I mean? That's why I tell people to come earlier than what they're supposed to, just in case. But I give that little extra time. And and for you to actually dedicate yourself, because that's really what you're doing, giving your time, your your emotions, your effort. You're doing what you have to normally do and giving a piece of yourself to dedicate to that as well. It's not an easy task. You know what I mean? Especially if you're starting from zero or you feel as though this is a situation of repetitiveness and you're going into it again. There's probably a million things that cross your mind when when you have to have these conversations and you feel though you're diving into another situation. I understand that. Giving your time and and being dedicated is not something that's easy to do. Yeah. You got a whole workload on your on your own. It's like. You know, you, you kind of got to give a little bit more of yourself and that can be you, you can spread yourself a little too thin. If if you're yeah. in, you gotta get something to the kids, you got to get some sure. family, you got to get something. to your It's like you're spreading yourself thin in order for them to be able to take off on that on that runway. So I, I get what you're saying. I thought you meant you was just going to leave. I'm like, damn, this nigga. This That's nigga what it sounded home. like at first. <laughs> you got you got two years. And if you ain't done in two years. This shit I'm is out. Two years ago, I'm, I'm, I'm checking out. Like two years, go back to teaching. Go back to doing what you've been doing. Let's go back to getting money. Let's 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 not make our relationship more complicated than what it already. Right. Go back to what you've been. Go back to what you've been doing. Let's make money. That's what I mean. Because that's another thing. Like financial instability can also cause stress in the relationship. So, oh yeah, number if one you're taking, if you're taking, number if you're one. Achieving your achieving your dreams is a cost effective thing. You get what I'm saying? It's very costly. You know, this whole her going to school full time thing is like, yo, she does. She got her own business on the side, but it's like, you know, mm-hmm. ain't a steady stream of fucking income coming through this motherfucker because you're trying to achieve something. And now she got to the point now where she can substitute teach it, so she can make some money when she needs to. But mm-hmm. you know, before that. It was before that it was just school, 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 school. And it was like Kev support, support, support. And it was like, oh, then this when she got that substitute teaching thing, it's like a, a breath of fresh air. But it was like she stuck to her guns and I did what I had to do back at her to get us to this point. Like we, we're almost there. You get what I'm saying? We're almost there. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. Seeing right. the pro- progress. Yeah, but if she would have slacked off any moment, like, hey, I'm not, I'm gonna take these two or three semesters off. That's you know, whatever. Two semesters off is like, yo, you about to put us in a fucking hole for a couple of months. Like this is gonna fuck us up. And then you and your reason is you want to take a couple semesters off because you, you don't have time to yourself. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have time to myself either because I'm working. We just gotta figure it the fuck out. Like. Our time is going to come far and few in between. Let's just figure this out because financially, financial stress is a fucking is a major, major, major killer of relationships. And that's see, see to me in that case, that's when you come in strong. Like you come in for the, for the backbone. Like no, 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 no. I know you ain't got no time to yourself, but we'll try to make adjustments. You got to finish what you got to finish because you got to mm-hmm. stay on that road. And that's and that's what we need from our partners. A lot of times, like I know whenever I start, um, because I, you know, I got the like I got the LLC and everything for my shit that's going now. So I, I like I'm literally at the beginning, beginning. And once this shit gets going, it's going to be hard. But I know for a fact, like, all right, ain't no way in the world I'm going to just be able to do that shit and whatever. No, nigga, I got to work also. So I'm at the work and do this shit. It's going to be some late nights. It's going to be some early mornings. It's going to be a bunch of shit I just got to do from the fucking muscle. Yeah. From the muscle. What I do need is I need to come home to a very supportive environment. And that could be physically. That could be, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like, yo, I just need some time with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and I need you to give me that love right now because it's hard to get through this. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it ain't going to be easy, but it's hard. So you you need that support from your partner or you need to be the support to your partner in, in their time of need. 
my wife had to hit me the other day like, yo, um, cleaning and shit. I'm terrible with cleaning. I'm going to be honest. I am awful with that shit. Not because I can't clean. It's just because I have a higher tolerance for certain shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a higher tolerance, not for dirty, but for like, all right, shit ain't exactly the way it's supposed to be right now. She like, yo, ain't no way in the world I should be able to come home and have to do that. I'm like, yo, you right. You right. You know what I mean? Like that that part I fucked up on and I'm gonna try to get better on. It's just it's support, man. You gotta support your partner. And I, and, and that that's a good thing. Like, like if I see if I'm home off of work and I see my girl stressed out because she just took a bunch of tests for school and the kids got on her fucking nerves, it's like, all right, I gotta cook. I'm gonna cook real quick and I'm gonna straighten the fuck up. I'm gonna take a couple of things off her fucking plate from her that she don't have to fucking do. Yeah. And vice versa, she'll do the same thing for me. Oh so you know what I'm saying that 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 pay that that right there that's just a little bit more stress off the relationship because like speaking back to like the financial thing, it's nothing worse when you're supporting somebody else's dream and you're helping them financially and you go look in your account and you see ten fucking dollars and you like I got three more days I gotta go to fucking work like Am I going to eat? I'm not. Looks like I'm not eating lunch this week or I'm pick, packing lunch from home, whatever I got. And hopefully this $10 and make it, you know, stretch me out to payday till I get paid. And but, you know, and there's some other shit upcoming financially. It's like, yo, motherfuckers don't like that is a stressful thing looking in that account and like, man, I hope this motherfucker gets to where they get to quick with this shit that they're trying to do because yeah, <laughs> like, you don't try. You don't try to Can't show God. Yeah, you can't. You don't try to sh show that stress at home, but it's there on the surface. It is like little shit, like, like you said, maybe not cleaning. That could just that'd be enough to take the fucking lid off that pot of that frustration of the fucking financial that it erupts into the whole house, and it and you thinking like she's really fucking or I'm really this person's really going off because I didn't fucking clean this hard like. It ain't that serious, like because I didn't I forgot to wash the dishes. When it's not really that you didn't wash the dishes, is yo, their fucking bank account got ten dollars in it. Some shit is fucking due. They don't they can't eat at work. They can't this they're praying that this gas and get them back and forth to work to their job so they don't lose their job. Mm -hmm. It's all of this shit that this person don't see, and they thinking it's cleaning. Motherfucker ain't got I wish I could tell you ain't got nothing to do with cleaning, but if I tell you it's my it's the finances, you probably might drop what you're fucking doing because you think that this would be the best thing to help me and try to fucking stop your dream in the middle to go do something financially to help me. When where end goes like, yo, man, I know your dream will work out. Like, but I just need you just you know this part of the thing financially you can't do right now, so I'm gonna stay tap on you about these dishes and that's all you're going to think it's about <laughs> yeah Yo. that's you're exactly right that's literally what it, that's exactly what it be most of the time it's like dog it's just other shit but the one thing i ain't the one thing i shouldn't have the motherfucker worry about is coming here and dealing with that shit that shit crazy man like you think listen young men i know you love her i know you love the girl that you with now young men in relationships i know she's the best thing when you when you get married or when you deal with a long term relationship, you have to understand it will get hard. It will not be all lovey dovey, easy all the time. And we talking and we just talking regular problems. We ain't talking about when somebody gets sick, like real sick, and you got to be there to fucking um, take care of them. Has y'all has y'all has y'all significant others ever gotten any like procedures done? Yeah, my wife any, broke any her ankle. And it got yeah. scary. Nah. It did, oh, it did for me. She got her C-section done. Mm -hmm. And it kept getting infected. And mm -hmm. it got infected real bad to a point where if she didn't go to the hospital that day, it could have been, you know, check out. Check out time from here. And we just had this brand new baby. And now she's sitting in the hospital. I'm stressed out because I got this baby. But also got these bills and everything to for her, for this you know, for everything to run right in this house, for you to have somewhere to come back to when you get out of this hospital. We got kids, and I'm like, yo, like, if she goes, like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, not only am I going to be heartbroken, 
I won't have no time to fucking like grieve this shit the right way. Yeah. Or feel or feel the right way. Like I gotta, I'm gonna have to bottle this shit up and hunker down, knowing I lost the person I love and I care about every fucking day. But I can't let that show in my face. I can't let that show in public. And I got a a newborn, and a, a, at the time, I think he was 11, 11 year old. That's their, that's their mother. That I got to keep them together and keep them on straight. Plus, keep myself straight. Plus, keep this house straight. It's like, yo, I was just like, I was like, yo, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like, it's just it's fucked up right now. Like, this is some fucked up shit right now. Like, why now? Like, it, it I don't need you, this. It, it puts you in a different mind state. It's like, why now? Like, a lot of people don't understand. And I see the the I see the post with the women when they take off the. You ever see the the mom take off like the Wonder Woman outfit, and at the end of the, you know, she's all cut and bruised up and all that, and, and at the end of the day, she still has to be mom. It, that was a yeah. that was a thing. She has to be oh, mom, but she was all beat up and bruised up and, and bloody, and she took off her her superhero outfit, and she still has to be mom. Moms looked out like a superhero, but what the kids don't see is like when she takes off her costume, all you know the scars and and her getting beat up in the world. It's the same thing with men. They don't think they think because we're so strong and everything. Yo, we go through the same. We get beat beat to dog shit, mm-hmm. and we don't normally. Like you see, your girl might cry or might break down and shit like that in front of you. You don't never see a man really break down in front of his woman. And that also affects us, by the way, when they and, do that. That affects us. They don't know that either. Yeah. When they cry, we feel that shit too. And we have yeah. to bottle that up because we have to make sure that they get comfort. But go ahead. Yeah. You got, and you're like, damn, I got to comfort her. I'm like, damn, it's like, I feel the same way she feels, but I can't, I can't let that show. I can't let that that chink of armor show like I gotta look strong to everybody. This is a this is a touching thing and I fucking hate to go on this shit, man. Like my biological father. I just seen a post a picture of him yesterday. And he said and he looked the show he didn't look the same you know big dude like I am. He was a big dude like I am. And I'm like, I never seen my dad this way. I never seen him look weak. In my eyes, even though we don't talk in my eyes, it's always a strong, healthy man. It just broke it. That shit broke me completely. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing we live at. Like that right there broke me completely. So I can only imagine if I look weak in front of my kids' eyes and my wife's eyes, how would that break them? Like, dad's vulnerable right now. Like I we not allowed to show that shit because I think it would break everybody around us. It's like the strongest person in our household is so emotionally weak and broke down right now. Like what? And everybody's like, "Yo, what the fuck are we gonna do?" This is the leader, and and it's fucked up. We're not allowed to show that shit ever as men. Yeah, um, yeah. Or if we do, we seem deemed as weak. Not <clears throat> deemed as weak. It's just like everybody gets nervous. People get nervous when they see their man. When they see they man weak, I don't really think it's they will get nervous. Like when I go through any emotional spurt and I'm around my wife, she knows, you know, sometimes it could just be something with me mentally, you know, being broken down with all the stresses that happen on a regular basis for me. And then it could just be something from the past that pops up that affects me. You know what I mean? It's hard to still endure to this day so she knows how to comfort me and to make sure that i'm okay she doesn't necessarily find it as a weakness for you know within us or against me because she understands we've had that communication we've had these conversations but a person who doesn't know you wouldn't understand it would it would be confusing to them to be like what's this nigga crying for you know what I'm saying? Why why does niggas why does niggas sound like this? Or why does nigga acting like this? And always crying and shit. Maybe People don't us. understand that because we're so Yeah, I mean it just what do you mean? Like as as just our culture? No, oh, just as men. Men men either. That's what I'm saying. But that's the mentality that's brought that makes them look at you that way. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, a person may look at you and be like, Man, I go through shit all the time, you don't see me crying. You know what I mean? But you don't know what this man has bared until this point that he's gotten here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 
it, people probably get scared from that too, man. You see a motherfucker just start crying out of nowhere. You don't know what the next move is. You don't know what is going through this man's mind. I, I personally think if I see a man crying that, yo, some either somebody died or he's going through some real shit and some that, real man, shit. that man needs some support. And that's why I just was saying when you was talking, like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm listening to you. I'm like, yo, maybe it's just us that think that because. I feel like have I cried in front of my wife? No, I don't think I have. Like maybe at a funeral or something, but like just from stress, nah, not because I don't want her to see me like that, but you know, but at, at certain times I've thought like, yo, what if she thinks I'm weak in other cases, like just by the way I'm handling something. But I don't know if she actually thinks that way. This is just what's going on in my mind. Exactly. I never broke down in front of her, so I don't know. I, I look at it like I look at it like damn. I would look at it if I cried and broke down for something. She's like, "Yo, he don't got it." Like, but not but don't got what, it. Like, what would she say? She would probably her, come, ask her now. Ask her now. She okay. she ain't here, but she probably she probably she would come for me. And hold, I know her. She would come for me and hold me. But it's like like how you would say that earlier when we first started this this topic. You gave your wife an out because you didn't think she deserved to go through this shit or whatever, mm -hmm. and she didn't. Signed up for this shit. Like, I think my wife was like, "Yo, I signed up to be with him, do anything. Like, I signed up for him. So if he did get emotionally and weak, like, I signed up to help him. You know, let me help him financially. Let me. I think that's what he's stressed out because the bills. Let me help him out financially, but don't go out and do. I, I we as men, we'll go out and do something stupid to get money to for our family. You know what I'm saying? Or provide a meal for our family. I always break it back to, I remember, it's, I always, I said this story a thousand times, but I remember Kier, I, my daughter, raising her. This is just me as far as my family. I didn't have money to get her diapers or formula. I didn't have the money. I'd lost my job. I was willing to go rob niggas with a fake gun in hopes of getting money. Meaning jeopardizing my life, my freedom, everything, just to get her money as a man. This is a stupid thing I'm was willing to do as a man at that point in time to provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? We would go to all men would go to that extreme for their family. You would never tell your wife or your girl, "We ain't got no money. I fucked up. Here, take this gun. You go rob somebody. I will wait here for you to get back." Yeah, never. <laughs> never as a man you will go take that risk you'll go risk your freedom for them because you as a man you know you like i'm strong and i'm strong enough and i'm i'm built to deal with this man i'm built i'm meant to deal with this i'm going to get y'all what y'all need just have yeah. some faith for me and you know me pro probably forgive me for what i'm about to do but know that i did it with good intentions for y'all you know what i'm saying that's the responsibility we take on as men. Like, and that's where the communication gets lost because if you was actually having that communication with your wife, letting her know what's going on, where you're lost at, and how, you know, how these things are stressing you out. If she's there for you, for richer, for poor, for better, for worse, she's going to ask, what can she do to help you? How can she alleviate something? So you don't have to put yourself in a situation that you need not be in. You know what I mean? And and that is what puts a stress on a relationship and puts you in the dynamic of, man, am I going to fucking do some dumb shit and not tell her and just try to put on this front and this facade that I'm holding everything down the way I'm supposed to be or am I keeping a hundred with her and be like, yo, there's some shit that's fucked up right now, you know, and I don't really know how to handle the situation and actually talk to her or your significant other about what's going on so they can understand your perspective and what's going on in your life because ultimately it involves them, especially if you're married. Whatever yeah. you do involves your significant other. So when you decide to be this quote unquote man that has to take care of the household and I can, I can, I'm built for this. I could, I could do, is she built for the consequences? Okay. 
are they built for the consequences? Are they willing? Is this a situation that you know that they're willing to stand by you at? Uh, yeah, you and you're right about that because <clears throat> if you didn't give her that op- opportunity to talk to her about the dumb decision you about to make, he, you can't be saying to yourself while you sit in the prison like, why she ain't stick that stick it out there for me? <laughs> because I did this for her. She's like, I didn't tell you to do this for me. Like that'll be the first sentence you hear. Yeah, I like, didn't tell you to do this for I, me. She's like, you should have came and talked to me first before you did that. Get a maybe the first, maybe the first sense you hear is, "Yo, you dumb as hell." <laughs> I was some dumb shit. Yo, why are you did. fucking dumb like that? I'd rather you had fucking went and got a loan and didn't pay it back or some shit. Do something. Hey, yo, anything you know, the else? Most, the most famous line <laughs> is, "You could have got a job anywhere," and then they always start at McDonald's. You could have got a job at McDonald's. Care. They don't care. They, I don't you know think you want. That's, that's facts, though. You, like I can't people, say not all women care. Yeah, some women. Yeah, they care. are out there for that. Yo, you should have been out there getting this money. <laughs> but like I said, the, some the, of the non-thinkers, like the job at McDonald's thing. She be like, "Yo, she's telling you to get a job at McDonald's." Like, "Yo, you get a job there, I get whatever." We have figured it the fuck out. Maybe we ain't going out as often. I can't expect that no more. Maybe the clothes I'm accustomed to buying, you accustomed to buying, we're not buying that anymore. Let's just figure out a way to get by and figure this shit out in the. In, you know, in the meantime, you take this little job, you do what you got to do. Once we figure it the fuck out and we get you back on your feet, yo, things will look good again. Like it, it happens. You go you go through these patches in your relationship, man. And you got to be willing to do whatever. And if you talk to her, like you said, you do the communication things first. She'll understand. And then let's figure out the financial issues that we're having together. And let's get our finances back straight. You know, that leads into the last thing we're going to get on is trust. Like, I, you know, I have the utmost trust in you to do these fucking things. And I'm going to stick it out with you. Now, if you break her trust by doing some dumb shit, like not talking to her and then getting locked up, you don't, that really can cook. Now she's the only one taking care of y'all situation financially you can't do nothing from in prison and i and i'm not even gonna go all deep into the prison thing because it like that would just be a whole nother conversation but like you broke her trust like you didn't you didn't trust her enough to like let's figure this out together you didn't trust her enough to give her the opportunity to make shit right for y'all like trust is a big thing and yes trust everybody think trust is always all don't cheat or or a lot you know, I mean, oh, you cheating me, that's trust. No, trust is just having the trust in that person, find, you know, to have trust in them to do something for y'all financially. Like, I trust this person to have my back financially. I trust this person to be there for me in my low point. And, and trust isn't given, it's earned. So once you lose a person's trust, you you having to earn it back is, and I think that's where a lot of us get lost in as well. Like, financially like the the theme that that we've been sticking with if you feel if a man feels like they aren't which all ties back into communication if a man feels like he isn't like he's lost his wife's trust in his ability to provide that's where it can get murky at and you could spend your time she might trust you to do it but you might spend your time trying to earn this trust back and you already have it like, it, does that make any sense to y'all? Because I, I might be just rambling, but it makes perfect sense in my brain. Right. If you were the breadwinner and then you somehow, you know, things kind of change for you and now you're trying to earn, you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to earn that title back. She might trust you to do that, but you might be like, no, nah, no, nah, I got to do it like this. Does that make any sense? No, it makes perfect sense because the whole time, what you're basically saying is basically, oh, like you already, Dre, you already earned my trust. I already know you can provide. I already know you can do this for me. Like, don't go ab- above and beyond and do the stupid. I know you can do it. Do what you think is necessary for us in this relationship. Because in your mind, you have a thought saying this is what necessarily has to be done That's the for pride. us to get. That's more pride. Yeah. For, it, it's that pride is pride. Thing. Like Dre might say, it's definitely pride. Dre like, yo, I know what I can do. And you took the pride way out of saying, look, no, 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 I'm going to do this. No, no. She's like, Trey, I trust you. Just keep doing what you got to do that's necessary to get us to our next step. You keep saying I know you, 
Because we've been rapping this kind of, okay, I'll bring my name into the, the <laughs> I'll bring my name into the fucking fray. I'll bring my name into the fray. I'll bring my name into the forefront. Just so happy. My, my, like, like me, on, and me, me, me and my girl back in the day, like we, we got back together, but it's been times where it's like, yo, I, like I was with a company for all these years and I left this company. I'm like, what the fuck? Like. Oh my gosh, like I get on unemployment and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. she's like, I got it. I know you'll figure it out. You never, you always, I always trusted you, always been able to figure it out. Even when shit got slow at work for you, was always able to figure it out. Do it. I mean, I'm, in my, nah, I'm on unemployment. I can't do this shit. Like, this is beneath me. Da, da, da. It's like, she's like, no, you'll get back on top. Like, chill, relax. Don't bring that. Bad energy into the household because it's not needed right now. You're bringing bad energy into the fucking household thinking you're trying to do the right thing. You're bringing this bad negative energy. She already trusts you. Why are you bringing this bad energy? Just do what you always do. Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Figure it One out. Get on. Energy, by the way. Yeah. You fig- just hit something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Figure it the fuck out. Don't bring that in here. Just do what you've been doing. Do what you always do. Get back on top like you always do. And and I have. Like, I had a person I was with that didn't see that in me. Like, shit, when I got with her, it was somewhat good, but it was like I was about to hit a fucking very low low. And I think if I would have stuck with the person I was with before that one with now, she would have went through me with that low low, and we would have, and, you know, we would have got back to where I'm at now. But I went through a low low. I was... Man, I had like I was in and out of jobs every year, here a year, there a year. This job will fail. This flake ass bull. I'm just taking anything just to fucking keep my head above water. Mm-hmm. Then I finally land somewhere, and it's not the money I'm making. So I'm like, yo, let me take on a second job to at least get back the money I used to making. And it's still not enough for this person. This person shitting on me the whole time. And eventually, I ended up where I'm at now. I like, dude, I left. Like when I met my ex, I was like, I was making twenty, twenty-two. And this is this, but this I'm talking about. This is fifteen, sixteen years ago. You know what right. I'm saying? And I went from making twenty-two to no job to nine to twelve to thirteen mm-hmm. to fourteen, and she so left me. So now I'm at thirty-two. You get what I'm saying? You didn't, uh, you didn't stick with me. I, now I'm making almost. A, I'm now making a hundred thousand a year. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't fucking stick it out with me. So guess who gets to eat from the benefit? Now my who I'm with now. Hey, I'm gonna buy you a car for your birthday. Hey, I'm gonna uh, get you the wedding you want. Know, uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna try to get you a place to stay at. Like I'm gonna do all the uh, shit that you need. You need clothes. We gonna we gonna take big Kev. Uh, we gonna take trips that we want to take trips on. I'm gonna pay. Most of the uh, uh, gives a fuck, but you know, uh, and my ex didn't stick it out with me. And she just really she let me hit the low by myself. Her loss. Look, I told her uh, I was gonna bounce back, and I told her I said you gonna hate me when I bounce. Spalding. back. you gonna hate me when I bounce back, and I bounce back. I hit uh, low, and I just bounce back. And now all I do is look up. I don't <laughs> never, even when shit gets rough, I don't start questioning shit. I say, I stop, I fucking assess, I look at it, figure it the fuck out, Kev. You've missed something. Damn it, that's what I miss. I'm, and I'm right back on track. Like, I done, like, my wife didn't see me. I tore my ankle. I was out of work for six months on light duty, not fucking doing anything. No bread was coming through, shit was struggling. Got back to work. Money just start. Money just start coming out of nowhere. I didn't even you know. I'm praying on this shit, and I'm figuring out. I'm not blaming nobody. I said, God, I figured out. It just give me the, you know, let me see what I don't see. And he helped me figure it out. And money just start coming in from nowhere. Even right now, I just had a car accident. I lost my shit. I'm all fucked up. I'm out of work for three weeks. Yo, opportunities just landing in my lap. I just gotta take uh, take advantage of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When they come my way, I gotta take full advantage of this shit. I just can't sit back and like. Shit gonna happen. Sit back and says, look, go for it, do it 110%, get it over with, dog. That's me. I love it. And hopefully this information we give okay, out to okay, some. Okay, keep going. 
no, no. I'm, I'm. This is me wrapping it up. Hopefully, the information <laughs> that we as a painter podcast gave to y'all, somebody might be in the same situation we might be in there. Hopefully, you take this, this, this episode that helps you out, man, and uh, motivate you. And motivate you. We out. Peace.